Duclaw must make sure the zebra doesn't detect her. The long grass offers perfect cover. works. The zebra's death cries alert the rest of the family. They eat the zebra alive. With 18 lions pinning down their quarry, the pride is in no danger of being kicked. Pemba manages to squeeze in in front. there isn't space for them all. The only option is double-decker feeding. TB Lioness loses her place. The teenage males just bully their way in. Jostling for position, many faces are slashed. Even Whitehead, the Mega Pride's eldest female, has a tough time negotiating space. When they split the carcass open, the adolescents fight for the softer internal organs. Rib cage exposed, the zebra is easy to tear apart, so each lion fights for a good ripping position. Enjoying a joint alone is the ultimate prize. They won't all be successful, but nothing goes to waste. They consume muscle, bone, and skin. While some Pride members are sated, others wait for the last scraps. This 250 kilogram zebra won't fill them all. On an empty stomach, the lionesses and juveniles can each gorge 25 kilograms of meat. So for a feast, 25 kilograms times 18 lions means they're one zebra short. Whitehead and the rest of the females must work harder to feed their family. The dry season arrives and slowly transforms Singida. The grazing herds struggle to find any succulent green grass. A change has also taken place in the Mega Pride. The adult females need support to catch enough food, and the adolescents are now old enough to learn effective hunting techniques. Tawny, Duclaw, and Whitehead take the juveniles for a lesson. The novices take their cue from Whitehead. Some animals are better left alone. Impala would offer perfect practice, but this herd's seen the youngsters robbing the lions of the element of surprise. Tawny 
is her sights set on something larger. A giraffe would make a fine meal. The teenagers position themselves to cut off the giraffe when it bolts. Tawny begins to stalk. Whitehead and Dewclaw stay behind her and reinforce the catchers. Tawny must get the giraffe to change direction for the ambush to work. Wary of the lioness, the giraffe obliges. But the inexperienced catchers aren't in position. They didn't anticipate the giraffe's path. The hunt fails. The pride is not working as a cohesive unit. The youngsters need more training. That night, the Mega Pride returns unsuccessful and hungry. A lion can go a week without food, but this is day five, and Whitehead knows they're getting desperate. The Pride doesn't rest. Every lion is alert for prey. Even TB searches tonight. Suddenly, an opportunity. This three tons of meat would leave no one hungry. Whitehead investigates the potential meal with one of the young males. If they're to bring down a hippo, they'll need the entire mega pride. It's a dangerous undertaking. A hippopotamus can pierce straight through a lion. In a clash between size and numbers, both predator and prey consider their options. Whitehead makes her decision. The hippo tries to flee, but Whitehead has the support of the pride. To feed, the lions must knock the hippo off balance and pull it sideways. But the young male doesn't have the strength. Whitehead tries, but the rest of the family hangs back. Desperate, they tear at the hippo's spine and rear. This time, it's a warning. It's safer behind their quarry. Whitehead easily pierces the hippo's six centimeter hide for a quick drink. Without help from a mature male, a bloodletting may be all they'll get. In some areas, lions obtain all their moisture from the blood and body fluids of their prey. But the hippo's not staying around for that. TB grabs her turn, but the rest of the pride is unwilling to keep up the attack. The females press forward, but the adolescents are listless and uncoordinated, unsure what to do next. The hippo takes advantage of the standoff. Duclaw didn't see it coming. 
900 kilograms of pressure clamp down on her skull. With the pride still distracted from the vicious attack, the hippo flees. This time, it heads straight for the water. It's a disaster. The pride will go hungry again. They haven't learned to work together as a single unit. And now Whitehead's lost a valuable hunter. Claw is badly injured. It's doubtful she'll make it through the night. <laughs> 